Hello guys, I'm Flabaliki, and today we're going to be making a new and updated version of our automatic minecart station. Now, the one we made a while back is obviously a dated and old method now, because we have our beautiful powered rails. So we're going to grab some of these, I'm just going to spawn them because I'm just showing you how it works. So do not mind me, I'm just going to gather the stuff I'm going to use. Um, Alright, so what we're going to need, we're definitely going to need redstone. Rails, powered rails, torches, and we're going to grab some dirt blocks, just for a bit of fun. We're also going to need a pressure plate, just one. Uh, you can either use wood or stone, it really doesn't, it doesn't matter. And we need, I don't need 64 of those, but whatever. We need two buttons as well. Um, Alright, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to build the actual kind of station area. And this is how we do it. So we place three like that first. And a normal rail there, and a normal rail there. Just curve it around back here. Don't mind my rails, they're being dodgy. Let's just beta 1.5 for you. Alright, so we want to build it like this, as we can see right here. And then take it back this way. Like, eh. It's just annoying, you have to destroy them. You know what, you know what, we're going to change these two rails here. We are going to change those into powered rails, like that. Okay, so that is that part done. Actually, I should not have placed those. That was a bad idea. Because what we are going to do next is create the cart booster that we need. Because these booster tracks will not boost a cart unless the cart is already moving. Basically. That, that is an important piece of information that you need to know. So even if these rails are powered on... I'm just going to chuck two torches here, just to show you what I mean. Um, so if I grab a minecart, which we did not get before... I'll grab two of those. Um, so, okay, so if I just chuck this on there... Oh, okay, no, that's moving. That is definitely moving. Come on, just just stop. Just... Okay, there's a better way to do this. Alright, so it's stopped, and I power the rails, and the cart doesn't move. That is because it needs to be moving in one direction to for it to be boosted. Um, that is what we need to know. That is why we need a cart booster still. But that's not a big issue. This is still this is still a very good method for uh, minecart stations. I'll have you know. Okay, so this is our first part done. This is all we need to do. We can build a little wall here just to make it look a bit nicer. Just to cover that up because we don't we don't need that. We don't need to see that. Oh dear lord. We do not need to see that, so we'll just cover that up. And just go like that. So that is our main booster. This is just pushes us along. So what we're gonna build now is the main rail track that we will use to go places and see the world in Minecraft. So if we do this, and we put a redstone torch right there, you'll notice that it powers both of those. That's not what we want to do, but that comes in handy later. <laughs> Anyways, so what we're going to do, we're going to leave that rail off there, and we need to power these rails. Um, I will show you a way to do that, by using a nifty little example right here. I'm just going to place a rail up there. I'm going to use flying for a second, just so it's easier to see. Alright, so what you'll notice about rails is they are powered like any other redstone thing. If I go directly below it and place a torch, you will see that it powers on. That is a very handy thing to know, because it will make everything much neater. So you can see that it powers the rail above it. So we can get rid of that now. And what we are going to do right now is go below here and power those rails. We only need one torch because they're all connected. So that makes it easier. Uh, that is not under it. That's the corner piece. Let's just go one more. That'll do. That'll do us. Uh, oh, wrong, wrong thing. <laughs> do that, and they're powered on, so that's good. Now you're probably wondering how we're going to get this cart out. We're going to focus on that later. Right now, we are going to make the cart holding area. Uh, you don't. This part isn't actually necessary. You don't need to do this, but I, I just find it neater because you can just get out of the cart here and destroy it and take it with you. But I don't know. I just find it neater if my cart goes away. I just like it. It's nice. It's a nice thing to do. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to just actually destroy that track for a second. Place a powered rail there. We're going to make the exact same booster we have there. Just a small little loop, because that's actually all you need to do. Just like this. And we'll actually put a powered rail there, because that helps it get out. Um, Alright, so we've done that now. And we all we have to do now is actually just wire it all up. So we're going to place a pressure plate here. What this is going to do, we're going to change that rail piece there. We're going to turn that corner to join onto here, to get our cart out here, basically. That's what we're going to do with that. And we're going to chuck a button there. And another one is going to go right about here. 
Okay, so this button, what it's going to do, it is going to boost us off this way. And this button here is going to put the minecart away. That is how it's going to work. So we're going to start off by getting this one over there, because that's, that's the easier option to go with. We're just going to dig down straight underneath this, and we're going to put some redstone dust right underneath that pressure plate. And now we shall dig our way over to the little corner piece, which happens to be right there. I'm going to put a torch underneath it. Um, so when I put a torch underneath it, that means we can change this track piece, basically. And you will see that that track piece actually changed direction when I put it under. Um, so what we what that tells us is when the torch is on, our track piece turns that way. If yours doesn't, I will explain what to do in just a moment. It doesn't matter if your, yours doesn't, that just means you do one step a little differently. Okay, so mine, mine turns. So what we need to do is actually have this torch turned off by default. So to do that, we need to create an inverter. They are a funky little tool that are easy to create. So an inverter, yep, you know what, hang on, I'll show you out here. An inverter is a very simple thing that is used in quite a lot of things in Minecraft, really. So say we have this powered on, but on this side, we want it this torch here. Because if we go like this, right, and connect it, that torch will power off. But say we need this torch on, like we do down there. We need to create an inverter. The way we do this is by creating a block like this, destroying the redstone on this side, and putting another torch here. And that torch will be on. The way this works is, because this is powered on, you don't actually need redstone on the top. Because this block is powered on, this torch turns off. And because this redstone is off, that torch will stay on. Now, if I get rid of this torch, it will change. So basically, it just it just inverts the current from either on to off or off to on. So that is how that works. So we're going to go down here, we're going to do that. And the way I can do that is just by placing a redstone torch right there, and it's already done for me. And it will turn the torch off. Now, like I said before, if yours was already like this by default, you don't need to make an inverter. All you have to do is join it with redstone like that. That's it. Make sure that when your redstone joins the block, it is one, like, it runs into the block like this below it. You can't have it on the same level. And make sure that you, I know, it's, it's hard to explain. Make sure you don't do this. So if I have my redstone like this, and I want to connect to it, but it's like this. So I only have this room to connect to it. it will, redstone will not connect. See that? It looks like it's connecting, but it's not. The redstone is lying to me, because if I go like that, that torch doesn't turn off. You need to have it coming in at a straight angle to it. You can't have a corner on the last block. It has to be, like, if I go like this, now it will work. That is just how redstone works. So, just, yeah, just keep that in mind. Bear that in mind when you're building it. Anyway, so I need an inverter right there, and that will power that off. So basically, now what happens, that pig just stepped on the pressure plate. Actually, that's good. No, get, oh, okay, he's gone. Wait. No. Come on, pick. Damn it. Okay. Anyway, so when we stand on this pressure plate right here, the track piece down there changes. It is going night time. That is awkward. Anyway, that track piece changes. So we have finished this section of the station. That is good. We only have to wire up these buttons and then we're done. All right, it is daytime again. And we just need to do those buttons. But first of all, I forgot to power that little piece of track there. So as you remember from beforehand, if we just place one redstone torch directly underneath it, it will turn on. And there we go. That torch is directly underneath that track, so it turns on. Now, to power these two, like I showed you before, if I put a torch two blocks, like on the second block up, it will power two tracks like that. I don't know why. Don't ask me. It just does. If that changes in the future, then you can simply just put another torch right there. It's, it's not difficult. Or you can put the torches underneath. It doesn't really matter. But anyways, that's how I do it as of right now. Okay, so we need to wire these buttons. Essentially, what is going to happen here, the way that the the minecart is going to get boosted is, uh, you know, it's easiest if I show you. Let me just grab a cart and put that there. Alright, so we got our cart looping around, and I stand on this plate, and I call the cart. It goes here. It will stop there no matter what, it always stops there. And say I want it to get boosted that way, I need the minecart at the back to come out in this direction. But if I want to put the cart away, I need the minecart on the back to come out this direction. Now that is where our track changing abilities come in handy because we can change either of these, either of these track pieces and the minecart will go either way. So basically all we have to do is wire up our redstone to change the track piece. So if I just put a torch on there, uh, well it changes by default, which is kind of annoying, but that doesn't matter because we can fix that. 
So if yours changes by default, just remember all you need to do is create a inverter, which we will do in a moment's notice, because at the moment it's kind of looping around like that. We need to change those to off by default. Now this is where it gets kind of annoying. It's still fairly simple, but this this button here, you would think you'd want to wire it to this side, but in fact we want to wire it to over here because of the direction it's going. Now I'm just going to make this messy just for the sake of making it easy to understand and easy to see. So we're going to going to go like this. So we have that button up on this block, so directly behind this block we can place redstone, and that will light up and get activated when uh, the button is hit, basically. What I always like to do when placing redstone as well is because a redstone signal can only travel for 15 blocks, so I power the redstone as I'm building it so I can see how far I can get it to go, because if you try and test it at a later date and and it doesn't go far enough, and you don't know it doesn't go far enough, then that can be a bit of an issue. So I'm just going to take this along here. We're going to need to go down underneath. Like, actually I might take it down a bit earlier. Like there. And we will go down much is it still on can't tell I think it's off I think it goes off right there so what we can do we just have to make an inverter because as you remember we need an inverter anyways and inverters work as repeaters as well if you want to invert it at the same time that is I know that sounds confusing but it's fairly simple so we just make an inverter like we did before putting a, a redstone torch on one side of a block and we bring our redstone signal along here all right so what what's happening now is because the redstone torch is powering this line it is simulating that the button has been pressed. So if I turn off the button, the simulated button that is, the track piece should change back to a little loop part. So we've done that side. Now we need to change this one, which is the exact same thing as that button over there, but in the opposite direction. So again, we are going to place a block out the back of the button, which is right there, and get our redstone to connect to it. Now this is kind of annoying because we have our track coming here, and we need to, because we're going to have our track going all out here like that. I need to get to the other side, so uh, you can do it however you want, but I like to go underneath, it just seems neater. So we're just going to go underneath the track directly, and then we'll come back up just because it's just easier to see that way. Um, oh, that doesn't make any sense actually. Can't make it down there. <laughs> we need to go under here, so I'm just going to dig this out and get it like that. Alright, there we are. And we will simulate our redstone being turned on so we know how far the signal will travel. When the button is hit. Okay, we'll bring that back up. Well, we could stay underground, but I, I don't know. I like to bring it up. <laughs> it's easier to see. Okay, so our other torch is there. The easiest way to wire this is not very easy because they, the wires have to cross over. Actually, they don't. I'm going to go this way. If I go down this way, down behind it, it shall not affect the redstone torch at all. And it should be, theoretically, fine. Alright, so then what, as you know, like, okay, so if I go like this, bring my wire down here, it doesn't affect that torch there. And what, what, what we learned today is that that won't work either. We need to bring this signal out, like this, and then it should work. Um, that looks pretty dodgy, but I'm fairly sure that it doesn't affect it. Does it, how does it? No, okay, we need to make a inverter anyway. Sorry, I forgot to make an inverter. I'm sorry. We got, actually, no, we'll make it under here. We'll make it under here. We'll make it back here. It doesn't really matter, ma matter where you make these as long as the redstone signal is carried far enough that it works. So we are going to put redstone there. I'll make it here. Put a block there. Put a torch there. Redstone there. Beautiful. That is not powered on, is it? That's too far away. <laughs> Alright, so we can't make an inverter there. I just realized. I'm sorry. We will make it somewhere else then. We can make it... We'll make it right next to this torch because it does not affect the torch. Actually, is there... Hang on. Is that track piece above it? I don't think that affects it. Actually, let's find out. I don't have to do that. Okay, it doesn't affect it whether that torch is on or off. Okay, anyways, never mind. So we're just making an inverter here, basically. We don't need to put that there anyways. Uh, that needs to go there. No, actually, what am I doing? What am I doing? Put that there. Bring this around. Like that. Okay. So let us go and turn our simulation button off. 
by destroying that redstone torch there. And now our booster track is going in a circle. Alright, so we have actually just finished our station. So congratulations. Alright, so now what happened is when I stand on this pressure plate, the cart comes out to me. When I hit... I'm going to hit this button first. When I hit that button, it gets boosted back away. Oh, I'm standing on the plate. Pfft, should have seen that coming. Sorry. It gets put back away. When I stand on the plate again, it comes out. This time I'm going to get in and I'm going to hit this button. Whee! And we get boosted away! There you go. There you go, guys. That is how you make a new sort of booster station. Uh, my cart booster station kind of thing. In, I think, possibly the most simple way, really, if you want it, to... It's simple if you want to hide your minecarts away and you don't, like, you don't want to place it every time because, obviously, the most simple way to make minecart tracks is just going like this, putting a redstone torch there, getting a minecart, and pushing it. And that will... Why can't I see a minecart? Am I blind? Oh, there it is. Okay. So the simplest way is just to go like this, actually. And get in it. But that's that's not what we're trying to achieve here. We were trying to achieve an automatic minecart station, and we did. Guys, I hope this tutorial helped you. Um, if you need more explanation, I, I suppose I can make more videos, like explaining redstone, the basics of it, really, by itself. But this station is really simple. You only have three pieces, like three redstone things that you need to wire. This pressure plate, that button, and that button there. So that is it, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped you guys.